Hi everybody, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back to talk to you about why isn't my oven working like it used to? Well, a couple of reasons. One, it's probably not brand new anymore, and two, it's probably been in the house for several years. Like everything else, it has a tendency to become a little, not as fast, not as good as we all get older, we all kind of slow down anyways. Well, you can take care of that, or you can at least check into it. Everybody's seen these before, these are little oven thermometers. Okay, what they do, they tell you what the actual temperature inside your oven is. What you want to do is you want to put one of these inside your oven. Now let's use this one, this actually has a better trick. Okay, in the middle of the center. Y'all can see that, okay? And then, what you want to do is set your oven for 350 degrees, 400, it really doesn't matter, but remember where you set it. Let it run, let it get hot, let it get to its maximum temperature, Give it about five to seven minutes after it says it's hot, and then read the temperature, okay? If this temperature on this doesn't match the temperature that's on there, your oven is not as efficient as it was. So it could be a few things, but we won't go into those. But what we will go into is you can change that by yourself. Every manufacturer has a built-in adjustment for their range that they gave you when you got that package of all that big old package of how to use my range. It can show you how to do that, okay? I can't show you because every manufacturer has a little bit different form of how they do that. But you can look in your books, it'll show you how to do it. You can go up and down, up to about between 30 and 50 degrees, depending on the manufacturer, to get it as close as you can. So if I was, if this read 310, and I had this set at 350, I'm 40 degrees up which means I need to raise my oven temperature about 40 degrees to bring it back to where this is actually reading the inside there. Or what I like to do is the chocolate chip cookie test. I take out some chocolate chip cookies, and I prefer Nestle Dollhouse, but that's just me. Do it, what it says, exactly, time, temperature, everything. When you take them out, if they're not exactly like they look on the paint thing, you've got a temperature issue. At that point, you can adjust it and get it back to working proper temperature, and your cookies will come out exactly the way it's supposed to. Make sure you got milk though. You can't have cookies without milk. So, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We'll have more information for you in the future, so keep coming back.